I was cleaning out my purse and guess what I found? Not one, but two TJ Maxx gift cards. So we're going to TJ Maxx right now to spend these gift cards. I got one for my birthday and I got one from returning something. I can't remember what it was, it was so long ago and I found it in my wallet and I was like, oh my God, I could have used this at Marshalls and everywhere. So I thought today would be a great day to pop into TJ Maxx. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to spend these gift cards, y'all. Y'all know I love a little TJ Maxx. So I hope you guys are excited to come shopping with me. Y'all love a little shopping video. The sun's in my eyes, that's why I'm over here. But anyways, let's go to TJ Maxx. Let's not waste any more time. So subscribe to my channel before you leave and let's go shopping. I don't think I've ever been to this TJ Maxx before. I wanted to go to a different one because you know they got different stuff. I just walked in and by the way, it's like the most peaceful TJ Maxx I've ever been to in my life. There's like no one here. Oh, that's a cute coach bag. Hello. What are you doing here? That's so pretty. But TJ Maxx's are always so loud. We got a little juicy bag. Originally 99 for like 29 bucks. That's cute for winter. I don't know that I'm really looking for a bag y'all but look at how cute they are Ooh. okay wait this coach bag is like actually so beautiful are you kidding me let's see how much it costs 169 wow that is lots like this tj maxx is like kind of giving right now it has so many cute lashes and i feel like lashes is something i'm always out of so i will definitely be getting these these are really pretty i think i've tried these before but they're so affordable here $3.99. I feel like they're more at like drugstores. So this is our first item. I was looking at a coach bag over there, but they're like locked up. So I'm like lazy and I didn't want to go get someone to unlock it. So I just said, you know what? I don't need it. Okay, Erin moved out, went to college. So her bathroom literally has, it's like a ghost town, nothing in it. So I was just going to get a couple like bathroom items to put in there to restock for whenever she's here I'm trying to decide y'all i think this is like cute and simple i'm kind of like thinking of going with something like this is easy 6.99 okay look at this big bottle oh my god see the body wash why do i want to kind of try that for some reason maybe not let me think about it i feel like this is such a cute little makeup bag i might get this for aaron i am buying christmas and birthday presents because her birthday and christmas is in december oh my gosh it's october <gasps> wait <laughs> did i finally get here early to get all the christmas stuff wait we're going down the christmas oh look at how cute oh my god it's not even picked over yet i'm so lucky oh those are so cute i don't know if pink is my christmas theme but these are so pretty i love christmas time okay even this is like so cute it like would be cute with those christmas trees over there i'm like youtube background 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 they are shutters though the glitter is uh, falling off how cute is this the checkered red it's like for the holiday blankets but this looks just like the blanket i got off amazon it feels just like it too it's so pretty i'm not gonna get it because i don't need it but you know what i did get i got the christmas I'm so excited. The other one's down here. Okay, this is random, but one does this literally look like me? I was wondering where all the high-end makeup was because they always have high-end makeup and they have it all locked up in here. So I was just trying to see. It looks like they have a Too Faced palette in here. And then I saw some Ula Henriksen, so nice. Clinique. I don't need this blanket, so I'm not gonna get it, but I just wanna show you. <laughs> well, is this the softest? It's a comforter, but it's like fleece. It's so soft. Wait, there's more. Can you imagine this on your bed? Like, so soft. Question, would it be a Larly TJ Maxx haul if we weren't buying containers? We're getting these. Love the size of them. You get four in a set. Pretty nice. They have so many good ones to choose from this time. I love sets like this. These are so helpful, but I just need these today. This is loofah heaven. I just randomly need a new loofah. So I was going to get one of these because they come in a two pack. I should have got a bigger cart. I don't know what's going on here, but I can't fit much more. I love products like this. Even though I get a lot in PR, I did find one thing. I'm going to show you when we get back home. Oh, they have so many good brands over here. Pacifica. I love Eva NYC. They also have uh, Kapari stuff over here. This looks half to use, so we're not going to get her. But, I mean, they got Kapari Brigio. Honey Brigio, Open TJ Maxx. All these brands. Why are we going to Sephora? Just kidding. I love Sephora. <laughs> Something about the way they color coordinate the products it's so satisfying i love that they do that here you have all your purples blues pink okay guys i think we bought everything in the store so we are pretty safe to check out now why is it so zoomed in my god i don't know why my camera zoomed in so much when i hit record it was like Boo. i don't 
don't know what's going on. Okay, maybe that's better. But anyways, we're back from TJ Maxx. I got a bunch of goodies. Before we jump into our TJ Maxx haul, let's give a shout out to our sponsor, Beam. So if you guys have trouble sleeping, uh, stressed, anxiety, whatever it may be, if you guys have trouble falling asleep, check out Beam. But for me, my problem is more so not falling asleep. It's staying asleep. I always wake up in the middle of the night. I struggle with that. So I've been trying their hot cocoa one. I feel like their nighttime blend for better sleep helps me stay asleep longer and I feel way more refreshed the next day and I have so much more energy. But this is Beam's Dream Powder. You literally make a drink at nighttime with this powder. They have a bunch of different flavors and it's really easy to use and it is supposed to help you fall asleep at night. So with this product, it not only helps you fall asleep, it helps you stay asleep. They have a CBD version. They have a non-CBD version. So I just am using the original cocoa. This is the chocolate peanut butter. This is the mint chip, which Tyler's gonna try this one. This is the one that's cinnamon, but this one has the CBD in it. And then I wanted to show you guys this one. I have not tried it yet, but oh my God. Sea salt caramel. Is it caramel or caramel? What do you guys call it? But look at that. It just tastes like nighttime hot cocoa and you can mix it in an eight ounce cup of hot milk or water, whatever you prefer, mix it together and just have your cocoa. It's really easy to drink. Not being able to fall asleep is literally like one of the torturous things ever. And I love sleeping, but again, my real problem is like staying asleep. So I feel like this does help. It also has no added sugars in it. So that's just a bonus because you don't want to be drinking a bunch of sugar right before you go to bed now. I sometimes make it with milk. Most of the time I make it with water. Today I'm going to make it with milk to show you guys. I feel like water's less calories. <laughs> sometimes I just make it with water. So Beam is finally having its biggest sale of the year. They're offering 50 percent off a first month subscription so this would be a great time to try their products if you want to because it's at such a heavily discounted price you guys can use code cyber at checkout to get that 50 percent off your first month also i will have everything linked in the description box down below so if you guys want to check it out be sure and click the link in the description box all right now let's jump into what we got so even whenever the girl was checking me out she was like wait those christmas trees are so cute and she was telling me she's like you literally have to get everything right now or it gets so picked over in the store and I was like okay got you so the big one was $24.99 not bad they are shedders meaning honey this glitter you see the sparkle oh it is literally powdering everywhere which I, I feel like I just need to take it outside and give it a good shake but I feel like anytime I buy Christmas decor with glitter on it it just it's part of the process it goes everywhere so these are so sickening they're like ribbon oh I almost dropped it but I specifically bought these in pink because my house is not pink decor as cute as I think that is it's like a little more like reds and greens but i thought for my beauty room and the backdrop that i decorate every year for christmas i don't do halloween because it just goes by so fast and i'm like <laughs> i bought the mini to stagger so that one was 24.99 gift cards came in handy this one was 16.99 not bad it's like a pink pretty ribbon look <laughs> Cupcakes and Cashmere is the name of the brand it says right here. I was, y'all, I saw these and I was like, okay, we're not getting those. We didn't come here for Christmas decor. What did we come here for? I don't know. I don't ever know why I go to TJ Maxx. But I was like, we're not getting Christmas decor. And then I circled back around. We did a wrap around. And I said, those are coming home with me because I know I'm gonna regret not getting them. And we have a gift card. So it's like, it's time. Glitter. So I am in, believe it or not, Christmas present buying season, even though it's October, but y'all know how this goes. Y'all know how this goes. It's like like October, we blink, boom, Christmas time. Aaron's birthday is also in December, so that's more. I know three, Tyler's mom, my manager, and Aaron's birthday. They're all in December along with Christmas, so it's so much, y'all. I'm ready this year, coming in swinging. So I, I was trying to get a couple gifts, is my point in saying that. I got this, okay, I like this bag because of how like sturdy it was. It wasn't like a cheap flimsy bag, but it also has this fleece feel. It kind of reminded me of the Lululemon line. So this I thought was so cute and it was $12.99, pretty good. Almost 10 times out of 10, I don't know what's going on at TJ Maxx, but every time someone checks me out there, they're like above and beyond nice. Like the experience, like they're always like, girl, what you got? Like, let me see what you got. Oh, I got that. Like they always chat me up and I'm like, but like in the nicest way. So I'm like, the employees at TJ Maxx, I don't know what they're making, but they need a raise. <laughs> Anyways, I got this bag and I just thought I would add that because the girl I mean, we're talking. And I'm like, every time I come here, it's, y'all are so nice. Again, with the birthdays, I used my last bit of blue tissue paper and I got like two pieces of white tissue paper. And I told you guys I reused tissue paper, but we're out because I went to a birthday party on Saturday, on Sun Saturday. I used the last drop. $3.99 for all this tissue paper and all these colors. That is the move. I got this. Do I need a body wash? I don't, I don't. But what I thought is I'm trying to, so when Erin moved out, she like took everything out of her bedroom and bathroom pretty much. So every time she comes back to my house, she packs all her stuff and I'm like, girl, we can just put 
like some shampoo and conditioner and like some toothpaste in there so you're not having to pack so much because like she'll come back for a month for Christmas. So I'm trying to restock her bathroom essentially. But I thought I could put the body wash in there. I honestly should be putting a minimum LA body wash in there. Okay, I'll probably do that too. But she loves Cetaphil. So in my head, I was like, well, she'll probably enjoy trying out this Cetaphil wash because it's only $6.99 for this massive bottle. Hello. I like that there's a pump. So I more so bought this for her bathroom. But did you guys know Cetaphil? Did y'all know they had a body wash? Then I got this hair towel. Okay, so tell me this. I had like six or seven of these because I use them all the time, so I like to have a lot of them. <laughs> I have so many of these, and there's like, so you flip it and you button it in the back so it stays on. There's always a little button, but all my buttons broke off of mine, and so they're kind of hard to use because they don't stay on your head. Okay, there's the button I'm talking about. So you know, you guys know what to do. You like flip it, you wrap the hair, but what happens when the button's gone? Like you can't button it on anymore, so. I was like, let me just get one fresh one while we're here. This one, I thought it was really cute though. I like the little design on it, but more so that. I am concerned now that I took it out of the package. I'm like, this looks pretty narrow. Like, is this gonna fit on my head? I mean, it must. I got a small head, so maybe it will. I ripped the tag off, $4.99. Like that's so affordable. Okay, let's have this conversation. Does anyone out there who's watching have a car with a light interior? Because our SUV has like an ivory, interior and for a husband that golfs it gets so dirty all the time and i will say that's something we bicker about i'm like dude the car looks disgusting there's like mud everywhere so i got these because they're meant to wipe down like the whole dash and everywhere it gets dirty. The only thing is, I feel like I see people on TikTok always putting these in their car and leaving them in there, but like I get dried out. Like I put these wipes in my car and left them in there before and the heat just dries them out. So I can't, I'm not gonna do that with these. I'm gonna store them in the house. I got these to wipe down the car, you know, as a promoting of cleanliness. I was like, can we please, how much are these? I feel like at Target, these are really expensive. $4.99, they ain't $4.99 at Target. So I know I got a good deal here. Kapari is a brand I really enjoyed. So this is a hydrating body milk. It's just a moisturizer. I also thought I'd put this in Aaron's bathroom. It was $12.99. Kapari is like a high-end brand, like their stuff. This is originally $17, but I feel like Kapari is more expensive than that. Like I feel like if you go buy, are they at Sephora or are they Ulta? But anyways, I feel like if you just like don't outright go buy this stuff, like you're gonna be paying like, 30 40 dollars for it i don't know maybe that's crazy but not 17 but anyway this is just a moisturizer i will try it right now it's just like a white lotion mm, it smells really it says coconut so it smells just like coconut wow that smelled really 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 good mm, oh i think aaron is going to love this then in the hair section eva nyc is one of my favorite hair brands i have a bunch of stuff from them this is the Just Glisten Hair and Body Shine. Aloe leaf, oh, and cactus flower in it. It was $9.99, originally $13. And so like, oh, it's a hair shine and a body shine. So you can spray it on your body. Let's try it. <gasps> You'll see that shine? I feel like I need to rub it in. Wait, that's so cool. I like that it's for the body too. So this I actually bought from me. So sometimes people, my hair is kind of shiny. I don't know. See, it's not that shiny, but it is a little bit naturally, but oh, it smells so good. It smells like cactus flower, but you can um hit your hair with this, some shine spray. If you want to add, if your hair's feeling dull and doesn't have that shine, you can totally just hit it with a shine spray to get all the shine and health in your hair. So I love, I have a shine spray from Kenra. I had used some of out, but when it said shine and body, and it was in Eva NYC. That's for me. I gotta say, it smells absolutely delicious and it made my skin look pretty healthy. So, okay, I'm really excited about this actually. <laughs> 9 dollars I bought me a loofah. I bought Aaron a loofah. We loofahed it out. $4.99 for two. That's not bad. That's not bad. Did I get neutral colors because I'm lame? Yes, I did. I oh, know I love a neutral color. But they were only $4.99. I need a new loofah. I'm gonna put a loofah in hers. I like that there was two in the pack. I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And that's when we go to TJ Maxx. Okay, I bought something weird and it's because it was only $5.99 and I was just like, I need, I need to know what this is. So this is by Pacifica and look at this like brown goo, but it says Sun Dreams Bronze. What is Sun Dreams Bronze? It's sealed. Oh, look, it's a solid. I thought it was like a jelly for some reason. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get into it. I'm gonna take our number four brush from Lunar and Laura Lee Los Angeles. Oh, 
Okay, so let's say we want a little bronzer. Oh, that's pretty. You know what, this is a, like, you can tell maybe slightly deep for me, but it does sheer out. This is just like a skin bronzer. It's actually really pretty. Wow, look at that. And look how much you get. Like, that is actually so nice. I thought this was, I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, mm, that looks suspect to me, but it actually, like, brushed out so pretty like the bronziness i'm making a mess with it now but i just wanted to like show you guys next i just picked up this lashes from kiss i love a natural lash and i go through lashes because i wear them all the time as you guys know so these were originally five dollars 3.99 saving the dollars lashes be adding up another this is like mainly what i went to aaron's bathroom I'm like i feel like you need some hand soap which i bought i think at target and then like some little cotton balls and like stuff you use and then i also like gathered all the extra hand towels we had and put them in there too so i'm trying to like replenish her bathroom as i just told you guys but i thought this was nice it was 6.99 you get both of them and they like come on this little stand and they're already filled they had like a bazillion variations of cotton balls and cotton swabs in the store so i was like well this one is very simple and plain so i feel like she'll like it so i got this one next on the agenda it would not be a Laura Lee DJ Max haul without containers. I will say containers are like some of my most used items. So I got this set of four. I like pretty basic containers because I can use them for anything like all throughout my house not just my beauty room the last set of containers i showed you guys i think i showed it on my vlog channel in a haul i literally used them in my freezer because we bought that smalls cat food and you have to like freeze it and they're like a bunch of little packets so we literally put the packets in the containers and put the containers in the freezer so you never know and so i ran out of containers because i used them all for my freezer food okay the price isn't on here I don't know where the price went, but they were not very, oh, $5.99. For four, that's not bad. That's like a dollar and some change per container. And these are pretty nice. So this is like the tradition, honey. Okay, the next thing I got for like TJ Maxx pricing, I was like, wow, that was kind of expensive. But this is a Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing. It's like a clarifying cleanser. You're supposed to um, wash any oil or product buildup on your scalp. I've used one before and I really enjoyed it. And like, honestly, it's something I don't even think about buying really, like a scalp cleanser. Like I really don't. I did enjoy it before. So when I saw this there, you're supposed to put it on your dry scalp, massage it in and then rinse it. So this one's by Amika. This is like a trusted brand. It was $16.99. I was like, wow, that's kind of pricey for this little bottle but it says it was originally 28 so i still got to add a deal but i wanted to try this one out i haven't used one of these in a minute i do feel like i get build up especially whenever i do like slick looks with my hair because i put a lot of product in it so i was like that's probably not good i probably need to do like a little scalp detox okay and then like low-key tiktok sold me on this i always see people putting all their fruits veggies everything after they wash them and then let you spin the wheel and it like shakes all the water out of it this was 14 99 says it's a washer lettuce but i think you can literally wash anything in it wow okay that was pretty easy to open but you wash put the wet veggies lettuce whatever in here you click the little lid on and then you spin oh i don't know <laughs> that was way too much fun and so it's like shake all the water off and dry everything really quickly. My only negative with a product like this is I don't like storing stuff like this. I find it to be bulky and take up a bunch of space in my cabinet. So I don't like having stuff like this. But I'm going to see how much I use it. And if I use it a lot, it'll totally, totally be worth storage. If I don't, it was a bad purchase because I don't like a bunch of clunky stuff in my cabinets taking up space like this. I like organization, clear, I like it to be clean, but I saw this so many times and it, you know, it seems really useful. So I want to give it a go. Okay. Lastly in this bag, I bought this for $6.99. It's just a spoon rest. We literally don't have one and we cook like four nights out of the week probably. And like I just needed a spoon rest. I don't know if I'll keep this out or will I put it away and just get it out when I cook. But this one seemed really pretty. It's like marble and wood. $6.99, not bad guys. So I just needed one of these. Sometimes you go to TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx just tells you what you need. It's like the things you never think about. It's so nice to browse in there. I will say this TJ Maxx I went to, I was like shocked at like how peaceful it was in there. And I was like grateful for that. Only cause whenever I'm filming, it's like embarrassing and like hard to do. And <laughs> there's like a bunch of noise and like screaming and like people in the store, like it's awkward. So when I walked in, it was just like empty and clean. And I was like, oh, thank God. Another thing I always get is a cat bed. My cats like beds that 
divot in. Uh, they have a lot of cat scratch pads that like are humped over and they can like scratch. I'm like, cats don't really use that. They like more the divot in bowl. So I saw this one there. I know the love it. It was only $9.99 and it like comes with a catnip in it. So I thought, fantastic. Okay, and then I found a shocking amount of fantastic clothes in this TJ Maxx. Best fall winter jacket ever that I found. It's by House of Harlow. I got it for 50 bucks. So it was kind of pricey, but it was originally $350. So I got like $300 off. But y'all are gonna die when you see this jacket. I didn't show it to you in store because I was like, no, I want them to see it when I get back. Look how pretty this is. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to try all this on for you guys. I never try on my TJ Maxx stuff because I'm lazy, but I'm going to do it for you guys today because I got three different things. I got this little jacket for $39.99. It was originally $179 from the Lucky brand right there. Look, this is, I got a size large. It's just like a big oversized, really pretty jacket. Another great buy, so thick and cozy. Another great buy for fall time. And besides the jacket, this is my second favorite item I got in the store total. It's also by House of Harlow, but it came as a set. So I got the pants in the top for 50 bucks. Boom! It's like this button, best like pinstripe chocolate brown, espresso brown top, so pretty. And then it caught, it literally came with the pants. I was like, oh my God, I'm so lucky. Like this is like, ow, I just hit myself in the head. This is like a nice, really nice set. Like really, really nice set. It has like a straight leg pants. Just absolutely stunning, gorgeous, fabulous, and wonderful. And I got both pieces. Like that's 25 bucks each. Like that's crazy low. I got that and I got the last small because I had a bunch of larges and I was like, dang, I hope they have a small. And I found one. I was so excited, you guys. And last thing, I got one more thing and I got it out of the holiday section. But tell me how cute this is this merry christmas rug oh my gosh i thought this would be so pretty to put in the entrance of my home and look it has little sashies and i know my cats will love playing with these the only thing is um because i have hardwood floors i know i'll have to get some of my rug pad stickers off of amazon or else like you cannot lay a rug like this down honey we'll be slipping and sliding every time we walk into my house so i'm gonna get some of the stickers, the rug pad thing, truly are such a game changer if you put rugs in your home. I'm gonna get some of those and put it under it, but I'm gonna store that until November 1, honey. Okay, last year I didn't decorate on November 1. I waited till we were like midway in November, if I remember. I don't know if I remember that correctly, but I think that's right. So I'm gonna do the same this year. I feel like guilty decorating on November 1 for some reason. Like society makes me feel bad about it. Why do I let them do that? <laughs> okay, that's truly everything that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Thank you for coming to TJ Maxx and shopping with me. Don't forget to check out Beam. Okay, they're having a major sale. I will have my discount code Cyber and the link down below for 50% off your first month of Beam, which is their biggest sale of the year. So if you guys want to check them out, it'll be in the description box. You know where to find it. And thank you Beam for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love you guys. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave for more shopping videos like this because you know I love to shop with a gift card whatever it may be. We love a little TJ Maxx, so there'll be more videos like this coming. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.